almost always with a trauma, you develop some type of negative belief about yourself. And then that belief carries over, gets reinforced, becomes the lens through which we see the world, right? So identifying your negative core belief can actually be challenging for people. I feel that you need to like really drill down into it to find like the core. And mm -hmm. sometimes people have a couple, but usually it's, you know, two or three is going to summarize mm -hmm. a lot of it. <laughs> and once you identify that, then identifying a positive core belief that is reasonably stated. Okay. So we're not going to an affirmation. We're not going to an absolute right? So I'll give you some examples. A common one, well, going with what we were talking about before, about being in danger as a kid, a common one could be I'm in danger, right? And then you live your whole life feeling like you're in danger. Yeah. So instead of saying the positive is I'm safe, I'm safe enough. We add an enough on it. I'm safe enough. Can I feel safe enough when I'm safe enough? Because if you want to go to I'm safe, you'll be like, oh yeah, but uh, you know, uh, a meteorite <laughs> fell on somebody's house last week and it could fall on my house here in the middle of this peaceful town I live in. And right. you know, I'm not really safe. Like, okay, are we safe enough? Okay. Right. Right. And then also like you're safe, like, oh, but maybe I have this disease or this, right? Now, are you safe enough at this moment, right? So that would be a reasonably stated positive core belief. Right? That's why you don't do affirmations because it's too absolute. The affirmations, your brain will argue. I mean, I do think affirmations can be a helpful practice for people. Some of the time you can get to a wonderful place, but yeah. overall for holding on to something through the day, day after day, mm -hmm. your brain will argue against a positive absolute and it will okay. believe the negative absolute. Okay. Ah, Let's take yep. somebody else. Let's take somebody who didn't do well in school and just grew up. I'm stupid. Okay. That's mm -hmm. their core belief. I'm stupid. We're not mm -hmm. going to go to I'm brilliant. Your mind will argue right. against that. We don't even have to go to like, I'm very smart. No. How about I'm smart enough. I'm smart enough to have made it to this point in my life. I'm smart enough. That's easier for the brain to begin to work with, bring in and replace. 